All right, so now that we all have iPads, uh, on this technology tip, I want to show you just a few things that can be helpful um, in organizing your iPad and some things you may want to be able to do. Uh, so first is you'll, you'll kind of click on an icon that opens up an app, and instead of just tapping it, you hold your finger down, and you'll notice everything begins to kind of wobble. And that wobble means you can move them around. And if you'll put one icon or over another, it creates an, a folder. And so perhaps you want to put similar um, apps in one folder. And so these are both Google apps. And so I'm going to change. It gives it a name automatically. And I'm just going to change that name. I select it in there and then use the backspace. And I'm just going to change it to Google because these are both Google apps. And now it's done there. And you'll notice everything's still kind of wobbling because so I can still move things around. And I'm going to take the Google Drive and I'm going to put that in there. And I use Google Hangouts some, and so I'm going to put that in there. And so I've got all these different Google apps there inside my uh, that folder. And so and I, I don't want it right there in the middle. I want it over here to where I can see it more often uh, or more easily. And so I'm kind of organizing my apps in a particular place in the folder. The other thing here, down at the bottom, this bottom row is called your dock. And you can see I've got four apps there. And you'll notice no matter where I am, those are there. And so Mail is often a good one to have. Safari or Chrome, which is a, a, another um, app that you can download. And then the settings. Those are three that I like to have on there. Um, you can move the same way we moved on before. Move things around and either take them off or put them on your dock. And they that way they're there for you and they're available when you need them. Um, finally, one other thing, you'll notice right here I've got these bookmarks. All these bookmarks um, for different websites. And so you can actually, let's say you're in Safari and you've got, so my website is coming up and on your your iPad, you've got some websites that you always go to um, or you need or you want your students to always go to. And once that website comes up, you can see the little box with the arrow pointing up. You click on that. And you'll see you've got some options here. And then here on the bottom row, you see it says add to favorites, add bookmark, add to reading list, add to home screen. And so you can add a bookmark within Safari, but I like to add it to my home screen. And then, you know, see, see it says blog, it's the name, and you can change that. But I'll just leave it like that, and I'll hit add. And so now you'll see my blog that I send my students to regularly is right there. And so I can then hover, or not hover, but select it and get the wobble and then move it into my bookmarks folder and so then I know okay these are some different um, websites that I want to be able to access quickly and don't want to have to find them um, there and they're right there all together so those are um, some helpful tools how to make a folder how to move things down to your dock how to move the apps around just in general and then also how to add um, bookmarks to your home screen so that those websites are quickly available to you uh, that's it for today. Hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving and a good week back.